Did you know that endotracheal intubation has been common practice when treating respiratory distress, but that it comes with a variety of potential risks, including airway damage and infection? And if you know that, do you have an idea what you can do to prevent intubation, or at least reduce the adverse effects? Is there any chance to improve patient comfort, prevent intubation and avoid some typical hazards during the pathway of respiration on the way to recovery? Maybe O2 can do with high flow nasal cannula. Get the needed rest and overview by applicating oxygen first. Quick, comfortable and non-invasive. Did you know that high-flow nasal oxygen is the most widely applied intervention for the treatment of hypoxemic respiratory failure due to COVID-19? But sometimes high-flow nasal cannula or mask ventilation is not sufficient and invasive ventilation cannot be avoided. You can make use of different supporting functionalities during this longer journey. Now, while stabilizing the patient's lung, protective ventilation is key and any adverse effects occurring should be avoided as well as possible. A quick and safe weaning success could be secured by a smooth transition to non-invasive ventilation and, if needed again, high-flow oxygen therapy. High-flow nasal oxygen therapy can reduce the need for reintubation by 80%. The use of high-flow nasal oxygen may lead to an increase in ventilator-free days and a reduction in ICU length of stay. With the optional O2 therapy function available for Draeger ventilators, high-flow nasal cannula becomes available at any time. The wide range of available accessories allows the seamless transition from invasive through to non-invasive ventilation and O2 therapy in the different areas of your hospital. We can support your individual high-flow oxygen therapy for all patient categories with different devices, functions and accessories. No matter if NICU, ICU or IMC, choose the required puzzle pieces fitting to your patient's respiration pathway. Learn more at Drager.com